Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again. I want to welcome you back to Q&A number five, part two. Um, I know that part one, you know, had some uh, technical difficulties there. That's why I had to split it into two parts. But hopefully, uh, nothing will happen this time and we can, uh, we can knock out this part in one go, uh, one video with no complications. But of course, uh, my life is not like that. My life always has complications. Uh, but let's just get right into it. Now, I, fin <clears throat> I finished off uh, part one with some questions from CoolMoD21, and he actually sent in a couple more questions. So I want to do those first uh, before I move on. So uh, he actually sent two more questions in, which is perfectly fine. Um, question number one is, uh, who do you think is the best Star Trek captain and why? Very interesting question. I'm a big Star Trek fan. Uh, always have been. I actually like Star Trek more than Star Wars. Uh, don't anybody kill me or anything, but that's just my opinion. Um, but for me, it's really a toss-up between Captain Kirk and Captain Picard. And of course, that's a battle for the ages because you know until uh, time ends, you know that will always be a debate on which is the better captain. But for me. You know, it's really a toss-up between those guys because Captain Kirk was the original. You know, he was the first captain, you know, not... Well, technically, no. Technically, uh, Captain Pike was first, but, you know, that was a, the original pilot of Star Trek. It was, it was Christopher Pike, as uh, who was the original captain. Um, but he only did one episode, so you can't really, you know... But I, I like Jeffrey Hunter as... Um, Captain Pike. I, I like that pilot of Star Trek. Would have been very interesting to see where the series would have gone if that was the decision that was made. But they went with Shatner, who I thought was was the best choice. You know, I can't. You can't really see people, other people playing these parts, um, in my opinion, at least. But you know, Captain Kirk was like the, you know, the cool, Rico Suave adventurer type of captain. And then you have Captain Picard, who is very elegant, very British, um, obviously. But, um, you know, if I really had to make a choice, it would probably be Captain Picard. Because, you know, he's just, he was older, he was more uh, schooled, I would say. You know, he was just very eloquent and elegant. And, and you know, he was, just, he was very British. And I, I really like that about Star Trek, you know, in general. Um, the personalities of all the different characters. But I, I would have to say Picard takes the cake for me. But uh, Cisco, I thought was great. I know he was commander at first and later became captain. Deep Space Nine, I think, is just so underrated in my opinion. I love Deep Space Nine. But Cisco, I thought was great. Janeway, obviously great. She's just she she's a badass. There's no other way to say it. She's a badass, and I liked. Um, Archer as well when when Scott Bakula did Enterprise. Enterprise I think is underrated as well, but I think Deep Space Nine is the most underrated uh, Star Trek series. But I would have to go with Picard. Um, you know that's just me. You know they're both great, but I like Picard the most. You know if I had to choose, you know if I had to choose. Um, and the next question is uh, going on the discussion of remakes. Have there been any remakes done in recent years? that you enjoy yes um again i don't it seems like um you know that <laughs> you know me my friends here on youtube you know people like us you know the the guys that love these old school movies that's my brother texting me um you know that Excuse me. We hate all remakes. No, we don't. You know, it's just that we're tired of of the same formula being used for for all these these remakes. Um, but there's been remakes that have been very good. There's been remakes that I like. You know, Scarface, great movie, is a remake. Um, you know, movies like that. So I'm just kind of looking at a list here. I mean, uh, you know, there's been countless amounts of remakes. Um, you know, but 310 to Yuma, I really enjoyed. I know that came out like almost 10 years ago now, but I really like that. 
Um, the Friday the 13th remake I really enjoyed. I felt that it, it, it kept within what it was supposed to be. Um, I think that's the best horror remake in my opinion. I love that movie. I, I love the remake. I thought it was really well done. And I really liked the My Bloody Valentine remake. I thought that was well done as well. Um, Bad News Bears. I know that came out 10 years ago. Over 10 years ago. But I really liked that one. Um, as you said, recent ones. I mean... Great movie, you know, The Blob is a great remake. Um, definitely one of the best ones. Cape Fear, I thought, was one of the best ones. Um, but you said recent ones, so I'm just looking at, at recent. Because uh, it goes by, it's alphabetical here on Wikipedia. It's not, um, you know, by year. Dawn of the Dead, I liked. I thought that was a pretty decent remake. I, I do enjoy that. I have that on, on DVD back home. But I did like that movie. The Departed, I love The Departed. I think that's a fantastic movie. I know it's a remake of Infernal Affairs, which is a Hong Kong film, but I really enjoyed The Departed. Um, Disturbia was good. I thought Disturbia was a pretty good movie. Um, definitely one of Shia LaBeouf's best movies, you know, when he made good movies, you know, before he went fucking crazy <laughs> and shit. They're remaking Dumbo. Okay, whatever. Uh, trying not to take too much time here, but but um, you know, so just trying to find some other ones from recent years that I like. Four Brothers, which is a remake of The Sons of Katie Elder, the John Wayne movie. Really enjoyed Four Brothers. I really like Freaky Friday, the one with Jamie Lee Curtis. I remember watching that when I was in middle school. I, I like the movie. I like Fun with Dick and Jane. With Jim Carrey. I thought that was a, a decent Jim Carrey movie. Get Carter. I know Get Carter came out like 16 years ago. But love that movie. A very underrated Stallone film. I definitely want to pick that up on Blu-ray. Um, I love the 98 Godzilla. I just want to get that out there. I love that film. I don't care what anyone says. I, I love that movie. I grew up with that film. Ah. Uh, I Am Legend is technically a remake. Um, I really, I actually just saw I Am Legend for the first time. On the way back from California, we watched it on the bus. And I admit, I liked it. I liked uh, that movie. I didn't think I was going to like it. The Italian Job I really liked. With uh, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Well, Marky Mark and the Transporter and the Funky Bunch. Because <laughs> uh, Jason Statham is, is in that movie. I love Jason Statham. Uh... I guess that's kind of it. I like the uh, Longest Yard. I did enjoy that. I mean, that's more, uh, again, you know, 10 years older, you know, or older right now. But I liked it. Uh, I really liked Walking Tall with The Rock. Really enjoyed that film. I like The Mechanic with Jason Statham. I know the second one just came out. Um, I want to check that out at some point. The Mummy they're remaking. This is what I gotta say about that. But that's a great, you know, the one with Brendan Fraser I think is great. I love that movie. But they don't need to remake it with Tom Cruise. Like there's there's no point in my in my humble opinion on that subject. It just doesn't need to be remade. The Oceans films. I know those are you know 15 plus years now, but I like the o Oceans 11 and the, those movies. They're good remakes. So yeah, again, you know, I don't know why people have this preconceived notion that, you know, me and, and my friends and, and, you know, people of, I guess, my generation or whatever, you know, our generation here on YouTube, uh, think that we hate all remakes. We don't hate every remake. We're just tired of this fucking uh, generic cycle that Hollywood keeps fucking doing, you know, that, that's it. That's what we hate, you know. I guess that's about it. I mean, just looking. I know we're, we're, we're going a little bit longer on one question here. But that's okay. I'm just kind of 
scrolling through different movies. It's, who cares? It's my video, right? Uh, taking a Pelham 123. I still haven't seen that. I'd like to, to check that out with uh, Denzel Washington and Travolta. Yeah, The Thing, John Carpenter's The Thing, fantastic remake. So there you go. I mean, I know it's older, but just kind of setting examples of, of remakes that are, you know, good. That's about it, because the rest here is, 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 we're getting slim pickings here on the newer stuff. You know, most of it's older, but that's okay. So yeah, I mean, the, the ones that I mentioned, there's been some ones that I like, but you know, of course, there's always... You know, for every, I think for every good remake, there's 106 bad ones, you know, in my opinion. But anyway, I just wanted to do those questions from uh, CoolMoD21, who's a cool guy. I've talked to him outside of YouTube as, as well. Um, just wanted to finish those up. So moving on, we have seven questions from Common Rider 64 uh, Number one, are you a Marvel fan or a DC fan? I like both. Um, you know, I don't get into that whole debate where Marvel's better, no, DC's better. You know, I don't do all that shit. I don't care about that shit. I just, I like what I like. You know, to be realistic, DC, the movies aren't that great besides the older Batman films and the older Superman films. Um, you know, there's been some good, other good DC movies. Um, you know, even stuff that's based on DC, you know, that's not, you know, necessarily, um, you know, a DC product, but uh, an imprint of DC comics and stuff like that, <clears throat> excuse me, um, but, you know, I liked, I like Suicide Squad, you know, I, I know that people are kind of split on, on that, but I liked it, um, I'm just looking at, you know, some of the other DC films here. I like the Swamp Thing movies. I think those are fun. Um, you know, the older Batman films, the first three, and then the one with Adam West, the first three Superman films. Um, but, you know, the rest, I mean, Constantine I like, but the rest, you know, Steel sucked. Catwoman definitely sucked. Batman Begins I like, you know. Um, v for Vendetta, I know people go crazy about that movie. But Marvel definitely has the better films, in my opinion. Even the older ones. Even the older movies, like The Punisher. And, you know, I like uh, the Captain America film from the 90s. You know, I know I'm alone in that, but, but I like, you know, those movies. You know, and again, um, you know, the older Marvel films, before the franchise started. You know, Blade. You know, Love Blade. Blade 1 and 2 I thought were, were excellent. I just ordered Blade 2 on Blu-ray. I got that coming here. Um, I want to get the first film because um, I, lo I love the first two Blade films. I, ho I really hope what they bring Wesley Snipes back because that would be amazing. Uh, you know, X-Men, X-Men 2, Spider-Man I liked, Daredevil I liked, you know. So I think Marvel has the better films. DC is kicking ass in the TV shows. Um, but I've always been... A you know, even as a kid, you know, I've always been a fan of both franchises. You know, I have a ton of comics at home. And, um, you know, I've just, I love, you know, I love both. You know, there's just really, you know, no, I can't pick and choose. I love both. I think there's great, you know, great comics in each, great movies in each, great cartoons, great TV shows. I think it's all good, you know. I don't do the... Well, this one's better. I don't do that shit. So I like both. Um, number two, would you like to see live action movies of Batman Beyond, Static Shock, and Teen Titans? I remember hearing years ago, like when Batman Beyond ended, that they were going to do a live action Batman Beyond film. Um, I'm just assuming it fell through. You know, they just decided to uh, reboot Batman altogether, you know, with The Dark Knight, which, you know... Or Batman Begins, my bad. Dark Knight was later, but, you know, which I have my opinions on the Christopher Nolan films. Um, maybe one day I will re-review those. I know I reviewed The Dark Knight Rises, like, twice. Um, so I don't know maybe about those. But I would like to review the older Batman films because, you know, I love the, the first three. Um, Batman and Robin's alright. You know, I don't think it's a great movie, but I don't hate it. 
Um, you know, and I love the, the animated series and stuff. So I definitely want to get back and, and do those. And Batman Beyond I love as well. I thought Batman Beyond was awesome. And, um, you know, again, I think they were supposed to do a movie or there were plans to do a movie and it never, it never happened. So I don't know. Um, yeah, so maybe one day we can see one. I would love to because, I, again, I loved Batman Beyond. I thought it was badass. Static Shock would be cool. I think Static Shock doesn't get uh, the credit it deserves, but I think Static Shock was really cool. Um, I don't know if there were plans to do anything outside of the cartoon. Um, I'm just kind of reading here. But I liked it. You know, I thought it was cool. I thought it was really a really cool uh, cartoon. And it was funny because when I was at uh, boot camp, when, well, when I was at fat camp, before boot camp, uh, a guy who uh, me and him became very good friends, um, you know, he's actually going back. He, he went in, he got hurt, so he left the army, but he's going back in, and I'm so fucking proud of him, so happy for him, I know he's going to do great, um, but me and him, like, talked about Static Shock all the time, like, we would always talk about cartoons and movies, and he's just a really cool guy, and yeah, we, Static Shock, I really liked, and yeah, I would love to see a, uh, a movie out of out of static shock would be cool and teen titans would be cool um i really love the original teen titans cartoon teen titans go i've never seen but i haven't heard the greatest things about so um you know that is what it is but um yeah i mean it, it would be cool to see movies of all three of those particularly for me if i had to pick like one i would say batman beyond because batman beyond i like the most out of those i just thought it was a really cool cartoon Thought it was really well done. I love Will Friedle as Terry McGinnis and Batman, and I just thought it was a very interesting concept. You know, I really, really enjoyed Batman Beyond. Uh, number three, what if Marvel bought the rights to Power Rangers? Do you think they would do an awesome job with it? I don't know about that one. I think Marvel has a lot on their plate right now with doing all these movies and, and TV shows and cartoons and. and Whatever they're doing, they're obviously good at it because they're making a ton of money and uh, it's working because people love the stuff they're putting out, including me. I think they're doing a lot of great things. Um, but if they bought Power Rangers, I don't know. I mean, when Disney had it, Disney kicked ass. You know, people can say what they will, but, but Disney respected Power Rangers and they really handled the franchise well. Um, I think some of my favorite seasons... You know, Dino Thunder, Ninja Storm, SPD, Mystic Force was really cool. RPM was excellent. Uh, Jungle Fury was great. I think all the seasons they did were, were excellent. You know, Disney really respected Power Rangers and they carried the torch very well. Um, Marvel, Marvel, I think if, if they were to buy Power Rangers, they would try to incorporate it into the universe somehow. And I don't think it would work. I think Power Rangers is, is best left alone. Um, but I think, you know, if Marvel were to purchase the rights, um, they would try to incorporate it into the to the Marvel Universe. And I don't think it would work. It, it just, it wouldn't work. Power Rangers is its own entity. Um, so I would say no, because I don't think it would work. You know, I think they would try to shove it in there with X-Men and everything else, and it would just be over bloated. It would, it would just, that's the fact of the matter it would just be too much in my opinion uh, number four if you were forced to watch Batman versus Superman or Power Rangers Samurai which one would you pick well fuck both of them really because Batman versus Superman I know I didn't get heated in my rant I have to be respectful of my roommate and my neighbors and everything now because um, all the rooms are connected and stuff but you know Batman vs. Superman just fucking sucks. And everyone keeps telling me, watch the extended cut. Watch the extended cut. Watch Man of Steel and you'll like it more. But I don't care. Like, I really... I'm not trying to sound rude or anything. But I don't care at all about fucking Batman vs. Superman. Power Rangers Samurai. Um, at least I can watch it for bulk. At least bulk was in there. And at least, you know, the female Red Ranger, when she finally showed up. I mean, I can enjoy that. But 
Power Rangers Samurai, I don't like at all. I just, I think it's one of the worst seasons. I would probably, I don't know about the worst season, but, you know, it's definitely one of the worst seasons. But if I had to pick, it would probably be Power Rangers Samurai, because at least I can tolerate some things. As to Batman vs. Superman, you know, the only stuff I really liked was Batman, and when Amy Adams had her cleavage out, when she was in the bathtub. That was about it. Other than that, you, you already know my thoughts on Batman vs. Superman. So anyway, if not, go watch the video. Uh, number five. Um, what do you think it would have been like if Jason David Frank didn't come back for Power Rangers Dino Thunder? I think it still would have been good. Again, like I just said, I think that Disney really respected Power Rangers. Really did a great job. You know, they, they retained good people from the Saban era and they brought in good more good people to, to help with the show and it would have been cool I, I heard a rumor that originally they wanted Austin St. John to come back as Jason for Dino Thunder that would have been cool too to see um, but I think if if Tommy didn't come back I think it would have been a good season I mean to me it wouldn't have been as good because you know when Tommy was in there, you know, because I, I remember when Dino Thunder came on, and I got really excited, because I was, I was 12, I was like, oh my god, Tommy's coming back, you know, it was really cool, um, so, yeah, I think it would have been good, but for me, personally, you know, because Tommy came back, because I love the character of Tommy, um, you know, it added that little extra oomph in there, but I still think it would have been good, you know, without him. Uh, number six, do you know about the feud? between Jason David Frank and Austin St. John. Yes, obviously I think that's one of the one of the things that again, um, like I said earlier, you know, it's either you you're on his side or, or his side. I don't pick sides. You know, I'm kinda I'm kinda in the middle. Um, I don't know like like all of us, we don't know what happened. We were not there. You know, we hear all these stories about Austin St. John and, and I met the guy and, and he you know, all these stories that I heard from Jason David Frank, I don't believe them because me personally, I base everything in my life on personal experience. I met Austin St. John, very nice, very humble, down to earth, regular guy, regular Joe. You know, he just happens to be famous. Um, so these stories, whatever, you know, but I look at it this way, folks. You know, back then, that was 20 some years ago. They were both kids. They were both you know, excited to be on this the most popular TV show at the time for kids. And of course, you know, people have egos and stuff. So it's probably just blown out of proportion. It's probably just stupid stuff that, that Jason David Frank keeps egging on because he's an attention whore and, and shit like that, which is the truth. And he can be a real douchebag because I've seen it firsthand, you know, but... Yeah, I know about it. Do I care? Not really. I just wish Jason David Frank would, would grow up and, and stop being a douchebag. Because also the St. John, like, he gives, like, no fucks about it. So that's a cool thing. But anyway, moving on to the last question. Um, would you like to see another Kamen Rider adaptation? Yeah, I mean, I from what I've read, Saban bought the rights back from Disney for Master Rider. So... It's like, what's the hold up? Like, you know, first of all, put it out on DVD. Just fucking put Masked Rider out on DVD so I can get rid of my bootleg. Um, you know, because I like Masked Rider. I, I'm the only one, but uh, you know, I enjoy it. That's just me. So I'm probably the only guy that's going to buy it on DVD. But I don't care because it's my money. <laughs> um, but... I think, you know, they bought the rights back, and then they, they trademark Power Rider. So I don't know if, like, there were plans to do another adaptation, but I would like to see one. I still need to watch Kamen Rider Dragon Knight. I, I've seen some bootlegs online, because I can't find it to download. Um, you know, if, I, if anyone can, can point me to where I can download them, that way I can save some money, please let me know. But I still would love to see that. Um, you know, but yeah, I would like to see another one, you know, why not? So thank you, Common Rider 64 for those questions. Moving on, to, this is a great name. 
um, YouTube sucks right now. I, I kind of agree. And they sent in seven questions. Question number one. Um, did you ever think about reviewing the Olsen twins films? Um, no. <laughs> um, no, not really. I mean, um, I never really got into the Olsen twins. I mean, they were really popular when I was younger. I think they're a few years older than me. Maybe like five or six years older than me. So we're still kind of in the same age bracket, I guess. I don't know. But I like Full House. I've always liked uh, Full House. Um, you know, but the only movie that they did that I really liked was... Uh, okay, they're six years older than me. So, yeah. They're 30. Okay. So, yeah, they were kind of in the, in the same age bracket there. The only movie that I liked that they did was... Um, it Takes Two. Like, that was the only one that I liked because... My fucking man was in it, Steve Gutenberg. Um, but, you know, I know they made like 10,000 fucking home videos back in the day. It was like every week there was another one. And I used to see them at Blockbuster. And, you know, my, my girl cousins would have them. And be like, oh, come on, you want to watch it? You want to marry Kate and Ashley? And no, like, no, dog. Like, nah, dog. Like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> you know? Um... But yeah, the only movie I liked with them was It Takes Two, which is like The Parent Trap, you know, for those that don't remember. So maybe that one I'll review, but, you know, review all their videos and shit? No, like, I just, you know, I just never, like, you know, I like some girl stuff, you know, and I, I hate when people say, um, well, why do you like that? But it's just what you like. Like, I like Gem and the Holograms. It was a cool cartoon back in the day. I like Sailor Moon. You know? Oh, that's right. They did have that uh, cartoon where they were like spies or some shit. Right? Back in the day? Yeah, they were like spies. I remember it because it used to come on ABC. ABC Kids. Yeah. Or One Saturday Morning. Disney's One Saturday Morning. I remember that. Um, yeah, they were like spies or whatever. Um, and I remember the, the second show they did, um, wait, they did another show? Okay. The second show, Two of a Kind, I remember watching that, because they used to come on TGIF. I remember liking that, so maybe I can watch it. But they had another one? They had another TV show? I don't even remember this. So Little Time. It was on for one season, which is not a surprise. Um, not in a bad, I don't mean that in a bad way. It was on Fox Family... And then it moved to ABC Family, and then Team Nick showed rerun. I don't even remember this, but apparently it's on DVD. So I don't know. So yeah, it was on. Okay, I don't. I don't remember it. So yeah, I mean, no. Would I review them? I don't know. I mean, probably not. You know. But they did like. I remember like every fucking month there was like another fucking movie. And they made a lot of money back in the day, you know, and, and that, it's cool. I mean, they never really got in trouble and except the, uh, I forget which one. Was it Ashley that was like mixed up with Heath Ledger when he died and there was some suspicions about what happened and now, the only movie I really liked was uh, It Takes Two. But I always thought, you know, I'm going to be honest, I always thought they were cute and they, they both grew up to be pretty women. I mean, they're they're attractive, so yeah. you know they never really got in trouble and stuff. They kind of played it smart, played it right, so can't complain there. You know, they're good role models. I don't know what they do now, and their sister is pretty hot too from Avengers, but probably never review their films. Sorry, maybe one day, maybe if someone were to send them to me, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Number two, uh, do you think that Vampire Diaries is a ripoff of Buffy? I think a lot of things are a ripoff of Buffy. I think Twilight is a ripoff of Buffy because Buffy did it first. You know, falling in love with the vampire and all that stuff. So, I mean, I've never seen Vampire Diaries. I've never seen True Blood. My mom used to watch True Blood when it first came on. 
but I never watched that. I have no interest in watching it. Um, you know, but yeah, I would agree. It's kind of a ripoff. Yeah. Number three, what are your thoughts on the new Spider-Man film? I'm kind of open to it. I know a lot of people are pissed off at the fact that he's back in high school when he's a teenager and stuff like that. But I really loved his part in... It's my phone again. I really loved his part in um, Civil War. I thought the kid, the, the kid that plays him, I think his name is Tom Holland. Um, you know, I thought he did a really good job. I really enjoyed it, and I thought it was funny, and, and it was it was cool to to see that, you know, in there. You know, so they're probably going to work him into Avengers somehow, um, you know, which is fine, because that's the idea, that they have the rights back. But, yeah, I mean, I'm open to it. I'll check it out when it when it comes out on, uh, I don't know, well, theaters. I might go see it in theaters, because there's a, a local, one of the local theaters, there's like three or four movie theaters around here. Um, but the one that's literally like right up the street, not too far from here, um, that one, they play older movies. Like, cause I saw Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan there, which was really cool to see on the big screen. Look really good. I think they used the Blu-ray print. It looked really good. Um, maybe I'll go see it. I don't know. Let's see. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm down for it, you know? All right, number four, do you watch Totally Spies? Um, I don't know if I've ever seen that. I remember it was on back in the day, um, you know, but I don't remember watching it. Maybe I caught an episode here, you know, here and there. But, yeah, I'll, I'll check it out because I, um, I remember what it is. So I, I might check it out when it, uh, one of these days. But I remember it. Number five, do you ever think about reviewing My Babysitter's a Vampire movie and TV show? I don't even know what that is. I'm going to look it up quick. Um, I've never heard of it. My Babysitter's a Vampire. 2011 Canadian television series based on the TV movie of the same name. Okay, I... Disney showed it? Apparently... Maybe. I don't know. Did they? It aired on the Disney Channel, apparently. I, I've never heard of it, so maybe I'll look into it. What, what, what is the plot synopsis here? Oh, it's not on anymore. The series follows the supernatural adventures of Ethan Morgan, a geeky freshman and seer who has visions from contact with the paranormal. His best friend, Barry, who is a spellmaster, and his vampire babysitter, Sarah. They are often aided by Rory, their dorky friend, and Erica, Sarah's best friend, both of whom vampires. Okay, maybe I'll look into it. I, I've never heard of it. So I'm pretty sure I can find it uh, online. But, uh, yeah, I'll check it out. That sounds interesting. I like stuff like that, you know, so, man, yeah, I'll check it out. Uh, number six, have you ever heard of the YouTuber Tyrone Magnus? No, I don't know who that is. Uh, number seven, do you watch Shadow Hunters, which is a TV show? Again, going to look it up. I don't know what that is. Again, you know, I don't have cable. You know, I just have a, a Blu ray player. What is Shadow Hunters? TV series based on the Mortal Instruments. It's on Freeform. I don't know what Freeform is. Uh, Claire, Clary Frey, I guess that's how you say her name, has just enrolled at the Brooklyn Academy of Arts. On her 18th birthday, she learns that she is a shadow hunter, a human born with angelic blood who protects humans from demons. Hmm, okay. That night, Clary's mother, uh, Jocelyn Frey, is abducted by a group of rogue shadow hunters of the Circle. Their leader is Jocelyn's husband, Valentine Morgenstern. With her mother missing, Clary turns to Luke, a person she trusted only to seemingly be betrayed. Clary joins up with a band of shadow hunters to save her mother and discovers power she never knew she possessed. Clary is thrown into the world of demon hunting with the mysterious, narcissistic, and attractive shadow hunter Jace, and also her loyal and geeky friend Simon. Now living among fairies, warlocks, vampires, and werewolves, 
Clary begins a journey of self-discovery as she learns more about her past and what her future may hold. Okay, that sounds interesting. Um, I could look into it. I mean, I've never heard of it, so it, it sounds interesting. That's pretty cool. So yeah, maybe I'll check it out. But thank you, YouTube sucks right now for sending in those questions. Um, also, Common Rider sixty four and Cool Mo D for the the two other questions that he sent. And I'm just going to end it here, folks. I uh, hope that you enjoyed part two. Sorry it took a few days, just been very busy this week with work, but we got off early today, and it's a four-day weekend, so I'm definitely going to be wrapping up Q&A and uh, moving into some other things. So anyway, folks, thank you for watching. As always, take care, and see you next time. Bye-bye.